Hi everyone, I'm back with another video. This is episode 5 of my China series. If you haven't watched the other episodes, I highly recommend you to do that. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Tiananmen, the Gate of Heavenly Peace, and built in 1417, was originally the main entrance of the imperial city for the Ming and Qing dynasties. In the old days, once somebody passed through Tiananmen, he or she officially entered the territory of the imperial city, which only served the emperor and was forbidden to all civilians. The forbidden city, where the emperor and his direct royal family lived and worked, was further inside, through the Duan Gate and the Meridian Gate behind Tiananmen. All three gates are located on the same central axis of Beijing. Nowadays, Tiananmen no longer functions as a city gate, but rather it becomes a symbol of modern China, appearing in the center of China's national emblem. As one of China's most representative palace architectures, Tiananmen will continue to witness China's future development. In front of Tiananmen, there are five white marble bridges on top of the Golden Water River and facing each of the five city entrances of Tiananmen. The bridge in the center is the widest, designed only for the emperors, and carved in dragon patterns on the bolsters of the rail links. On its side, two slightly narrower bridges were for aristocracies and highest ranking officials. Further outside, two narrowest bridges were for officials of second and third grade. All other people, from officials of fourth grade to general citizens, can only use the normal bridges on the very side. Initially, Tiananmen was only a three-story high, five bays wide wooden archway named Cheng Tiananmen. In 1457, the archway caught on fire and was rebuilt into a double eave hip and gable roof tower, nine bays wide, which is approximately 57 meters, and five bays deep, which is approximately 21 meters. The numbers nine and five represented the imperial power in ancient China. So what could be more suitable than integrating the numbers nine and five into the design of Tiananmen as the main gate to the imperial city?